Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the SWAS. Wednesday MLB, that means we got day games, we got night games. Uh, we're going to go through all of them, two separate live shows. So we're going to go through, uh, go live at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. That'll be with Toast Commission, Prop Ever. We'll go through all the day games. Then we'll be live again at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll go through the WNBA with Crispy Cappen. And then Prop Ever, Toast, and Modi come on to go through the night game. So two live shows in this video, Cards Astros in Houston. Let's go. Welcome to the Swiss. The sauce. Sauce. Hey, get the sauce. All right, so like I said, St. Louis is on the road in Houston. Astros minus 175 favorites at home. Total sitting at eight and a half. We got Miles Michael is pitching for the cards. We're now Blanco on the mound for the Strohs. Let's take a quick look at the spreadsheet. And this one's pretty deadlocked, according to the model. After five innings, 2.62 to 2.69. So an extremely slight lean towards Houston. Final score, 4.53 to 4.63. So another extremely slight lean to Houston. All right, so let's take a look at the matchup here. And we'll start with the Cardinals bats. Uh, St. Louis has been hitting in the last 30 days, fourth in WRC+, plus, eighth in OPS, sixth in WOBA. In the last 14 days, 12th, 12th, and 13th. Look at their numbers against right-handed pitching here. Looking great. In the last 30 days, second, second, and second. In the last 14 days, fifth, fifth, and fifth. Um, I will say they're doing more damage at home at Bush Stadium uh, than they are on the road. You can see on the road this year, 22nd WRC+, plus, 21st in OPS, 21st in WOBA. You can see they've definitely improved as of late in the last 30 days on the road, 12th, 14th, and 12th. But still, this is definitely a more dangerous lineup at home uh, than it is on the road. And now they're matched up against Blanco, who's been absolutely dealing. Uh, you can see his numbers on the season, 244 ERA, a 103 whip, and a 407 expected FIP. Definitely elite numbers. I will say we're starting to see him come down to earth a little bit. Um, his last start wasn't good. You can see 70, uh, 771 ERA. Uh, 129 whip isn't terrible, but gave up a lot of runs. In his last three home starts, 461 ERA and a 132 whip. Not that these numbers are absolutely terrible, but they're definitely not elite. Uh, you look at his game logs here. Twins got to him. Six base runners and four earned runs in just four and two-thirds innings. Before that, I mean, he had back-to-back -back start starts against Oakland, one of which he got caught cheating and had to leave after three innings. Uh, before that, on the road in Yankee Stadium, eight base runners, just two earned runs. That's actually solid on the road in Yankee Stadium. Every they're crushing everybody. Um, but look, Seattle got to him. Seven base runners, three earned runs. So, I mean, Renel Blanco has elite numbers on the season. Recently, I wouldn't say elite. He's definitely taken a small step backwards. Um, the good news for Blanco is Cardinals have been terrible trying to hit four-seam fastballs this year, and that's his main pitch. 34.8% of Renel Blanco's pitches this year have been four-seam fastballs. Cardinals 29th in the MLB in runs added average against the four-seam fastball, but a lot of those numbers are going to be from earlier in the season when they were they were really cold first month or so of the season. If we look at since May 1st, the Cardinals against Blanco's pitch mix, the fastball, the slider, and the changeup, those, those are his three pitches. They're actually 9th, 8th, and 14th against that pitch mix, hard hit percentage, isolated power, barrel percentage. So even though the Cardinals have terrible numbers against the four-seam fastball, they've actually done a decent job. They've done a better job as of late, I'll say that. And we also want to take a look at Blanco's righty-lefty splits because the Cardinals are going to have five lefties in the lineup, including three of their first four hitters. Uh, but Blanco's numbers against lefties are solid. I mean, slightly worse than his numbers against the righties, but we're still talking about a 109 whip. 449 expected FIP indicates, I guess, there may be some regression on the way for Blanco against lefties. But as a whole, these aren't that significant. Um, I think we can count on the cards to get a few runs across on them. Maybe five or six innings, three earned runs, somewhere in that area. On the other side, we got Michaelis against the Astros bats. Uh, you can see the Astros bats definitely cooling off a bit in the last 14 days, 18th in WRC+, plus, 20th in OPS, 22nd in WOBA. Same looking numbers in the last seven days. Um, against righties, last 30 days, excellent. Top three lineup against, uh, against right-handed pitching in the last 30 days. But look at the last 14, last seven, cooling down a bit. I mean, these numbers aren't bad, but maybe not hitting at quite the same level they were a month ago. Good news is this game is at home in Houston where the Astros have been... I mean, they score runs at home. This is the best home lineup in baseball so far this year. First in WRC+, plus, first in OPS, first in WOBA. So definitely not a great sign for Michaelis there going on the road to Houston. If you look at their recent game logs, they're definitely getting to righty starters here. I mean, five base runners, three earned runs off Woods Richardson and four and a third innings pitched. Ten base runners, five earned runs off Joe Ryan. 
Pablo Lopez did completely blank them, though. Pablo got to him. Um, but as a whole, they are getting to ready starters here. And there's some decent names on this list. Logan Gilbert, nine base runners, four and runs. So we can count on the Astros bats. They've been hitting. Uh, if we take a look at Michaelis's numbers. Last four starts, Michaelis has been pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to say great, but 391 ERA, a 104 whip, and a 376 expected fit in his last four starts. You will take that for Miles Michaelis. Um, he's been slightly worse on the road, but still, these are solid. In his last two road starts, a 450 ERA. In his last four road starts, a 418 ERA, 118 whip, and a 370 expected fit. These are good numbers. Michaelis, Michaelis has been solid recently. Take a look at his game logs. Look where he's going on the road at Philly. I mean, six base runners and three earned runs, six innings pitch on the road in Philly. That's a solid start. You will take that any day of the week. It's the best team in baseball, record-wise. I mean, look at his road start before that. At Milwaukee, another top five lineup this year. Six innings pitch, nine base runners. That's a 150 whip, so that's not great. But just three earned runs. So again, Michaelis with a decent quality start on the road against a good lineup. Before that, at Detroit, six innings pitch, three earned runs. Before that, at City Field, five and two thirty. Two thirds innings pitch, two earned runs. So Michaelis is going on the road, seeing some tough lineups and giving you quality starts. As far as the pitch mix for Michaelis, um, he does throw the slider a lot, which I guess is good news because the Astros don't have great numbers against the slider, but he also throws the four seam fastball and the sinker a lot, and the Astros have tattooed those pitches. So based on the game logs we've seen from Michaelis, he went into Philly, six innings pitch, three earned runs. He went into Milwaukee, six innings pitch, three earned runs. He went into City Field, six innings pitch, or five and two thirds innings pitch, two earned runs. So I think it's pretty safe. We we can chalk Michaelis up for six innings pitch, three earned runs, because that's what he seems to be giving us every time out, which means I have both starting pitchers. As far as the first five, we should be looking at 3-3. Three, three. So what is the first five over at? It wasn't open. I was looking at this line before. I'm going to go find it. it. wasn't open. They didn't even have that market open yet. Let's see if they've opened it. Cardinals, Astros, first five over four and a half. So give me that first five over. I'm going to take that now. I'm actually going to bet it now. As far as the bullpens go, it's kind of a tough call in this one. The Astros bullpen has definitely been better than the Cardinals bullpen, but the Cardinals lineup has been better at hitting bullpens. So I, it's kind of a wash. And also we got to keep an eye on the usage. As I'm recording this, the Astros and Cardinals, the Cardinals they're still in the sixth inning. So we, we don't really know what's going to happen with that. And if you take a look at the usage from the Astros bullpen, there could be a situation here. I mean, Hayter's gone two of the last three, Abreu two of the last three, Montero two nights in a row. So I don't really feel comfortable making a call in the second half of this game. There's a chance that the Astros are going to be really limited um, in the bullpen. But I did bet that first five over, and we'll talk about it on the live show. This is a day game, so we'll talk about this one at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. If you want my top bets, top bets from everyone on the staff, head over to cockrooms.com, sign up for Sauce Network Plus. Yeah, talk to you in the morning.